Uh, this is Ken, and we're here at uh, Friday Harbor High School uh, Sports. We're uh, boys varsity baseball, and uh, we are uh, a little windy out here today, as you know. Um, I don't know how, where I don't know how it is where you're listening, but it's pretty breezy here. Um, we got Dave Rude, who's going to be do doing most of the announcing for the game, and uh, we got the other camera on finally. And uh, so we got a couple cameras going. We'll see how we we'll see how we do. Kind of freaky. I was a little afraid that the cameras are going to blow over in the wind and break, you know. But uh, so, Dave, are you there? Yes. Hi, everybody. Okay. We're running running late on the game. Ferry was late. High seas. Looks like we're going to be an hour late. This has been the winter of windstorms. Coopville's warming up right now. Get him, Nate. Wiley. Our starting catcher and pitcher just walked by, Nathan Posenjack, number 15. Uh, sophomore kid I've coached many years. And if he's on, good luck. He is something else. He, he throws fast, and he has a lot of different pitches. And uh, looking forward to see his first start in Freddy Harbor High School history. For is that right? He does start nerves is a thing of he's had in the past. He's gotten older. And it's cold. Well the wind blowing we get that serious chill factor. I'd like to give a shout out to Janet Wilson. Hopefully she's listening and she can hear me. Do we have the mic up again? What? Remember our mic was down too low last time? No, that's 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 a set. That's a setting here. It's here where we got to control that. Sorry, folks. Te technical stuff. <laughs> We're using uh, something called a Sling Studio to broadcast with, and you got to get it on the internet, and then you connect it to the cameras. High tech. And the cameras the cameras are wireless. Hopefully someday here at the stadium, anyway, that we'll uh, at, at, this, the, uh, at Lindy Field, we'll be able to uh, uh, mount some permanent uh, camera st stuff up on the uh, top of the dugouts, and uh, and then uh, like we were talking about having a, a running gun thing that's you know you can move around. Yeah. Hopefully. We'll take we'll take donations of uh, PTZ cameras if you know what those are. PTZ cameras uh, pan tilt zoom, and they're remote. Con you can remote control them, and uh, we could hardwire them to the place where we set up normally. And then uh, all we need then is to have a hardwired internet signal. <laughs> Not bloody likely. <laughs> no. Uh, but if we do, if we do, then the, then we can. It'll be a lot more solid and stable than it is now. Well, this should be a good game today. Um, yeah, it should. We played them the first time. We won seven to five, but their pitcher struggled in the first inning, gave us five runs right off the bat. I don't think we earned that wit victory, but um, we'll see what we can do today. Every day's different. Wolverines are taking the field right now. the game goes today. A lot of the, the, the flies to the uh, outfield. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big curve in it, you know.
base, we got Chris Gustafson. He's a freshman. He's doing really well this year. Uh, Satchel Peoples is on second base or shortstop. Is Levi Buchanan. He usually plays second base. He's playing shortstop today. Our shortstop is usually Nathan Posenjack, number 15. And he's pitching right now. Our catcher is Connor Haynes. He's one of the top catchers in our league for sure. Camden is on third base. Um, Jackson Waldron is out in left field. Sophomore out in center field is a junior. Roberson. And then it looks like Max Fields is out in right field. And he's a sophomore. And he just started playing. He was on, he played on my team three years ago. He was the uh, first time he played. And the achievements that he's made the last three years is amazing. He went from not knowing how to throw the ball to starting high school game today. So we have our first batter up right now. Um, Number two, Hank Wolf, playing center field, leading them off. Nathan's ready to pitch. Connor, here we go. Oh, geez, that was a nasty pitch. A curveball just right down the middle. Looked like it was going to be up around his head, and this dropped right into the zone. Strike one. Fastball outside, just right in the zone, though. It was a good pitch. He's got out in front of him. He's a good pitcher, boy. I tell you what, he's going to be one of the best ever. He works hard at it, a little low. He lifts his weights, and he works out, and he takes it seriously, and that's what it takes. Fly ball right to shortstop Levi Buchanan. Just direct hit right to him. One down. Next up, number 12, Xavier. Can't read the coach's writing. Mur Murdy? Murphy? I don't know. Can't read the coach's right. Strike. Fastball right down the middle. You have a roster handy? Maybe we can. I just have the other team's roster, and I just know our team. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Lazy pop fly into center field, base hit. Starting her off. One down, one on. Number three batter, number five, Scott. Hayborn, Hillborn, Scott Hillborn, number six or number five. Looks like our, their third baseman. Nathan threw down to first base, just about picked him off. into the dirt. Good stop by the catcher, Connor. Not much gets by him. Good stop, Connor. Xavier has a good lead off. Pop fly. I think that's a two and one count now. Xavier's on first base. He's looking like he wants to steal. Oh, he throws down to first. I think Nathan felt the same way. Another foul ball straight up and right over our heads here. I think 
believe the count's two and two. Two and two. Runner on first. Runner looks like he wants to steal again. He's oh, another strike, pop fly infield. First baseman got it, automatically out. Oh, and the guy on first base took down to second base. I don't know what he was thinking. Lack of communications from the coaches to the runner on the plate. Um, that was a double play. He uh, caught the ball, infield fly, automatic out. The first base runner took off to second base, and he th probably thought it was two down, where it was only one down, and that was it. Double play to end the inning, not in the inning, but now we're in the bottom of the first. That was a mental error right there. Um, Kitch has stayed on first. Cody Roberts, number six, is their pitcher. Looks like he can throw pretty well, too. I believe this is our best competition that we have out here is this Coopville team. Like I said, I, we were lucky to beat them last time. Uh, I don't think we earned any runs. Um, we didn't have very many hits, so we've been working on hitting. We'll see what today brings. I'd like to give a shout out to my brother and sister-in-law up at Whiskey Lake, Alaska. They're 75 miles north of Anchorage living out in the bush and somehow they have internet and are able to stream this stuff. So hi to you. Looks like we got a pretty good crowd here for everybody out here cheering on the Wolverines. And I believe he's ready to pitch now. Um, first up is Jackson. There's uh, Mr. Peoples. And here we go, batter up. Satchel Peoples is the number one, number one is our leadoff batter. He's our one of our two seniors that we have. Satchel loves baseball, and I think he's been injured. I think he played his freshman year, and, and then now he's playing in a senior year, and this year's kind of a half year. The Wolverines are chatting it up a little bit. Let's get on the board. Strike one. That's a nice pitch right down the middle. A little bit on the outside, but it was definitely a strike. Ooh, another strike. Cody can pitch. Foul ball. He's throwing strikes, boys. Strike out, swinging. One down. Number three, Connor Haynes, our catcher, is up to bat. Let's see how Connor does. Low. It's Cody. He. I haven't seen him throw. Anything but strikes. He's that one was low, but it was it was there. That was another low ball, same as that last pitch, just a little bit low in the zone. Some umps call them strikes. Cody looks like he was having disagreements on the call. 
A little bit of frustration. He's tying the shoe, getting ready. He's going to bring a strike guarantee right here. Hi. Ball three. 0 oh and 3. He's not missing by much, but. Oh, down in the dirt. Ball four, walk. Four pitch walk. It's not Mitch missing by much. We got Connor on. Number two, center fielder, Dylan Roberson is up to bat. Outside in the dirt. Coopville's coach told Cody to slow down a little bit, take catch his breath. He looks a little frustrated with that walk. Connor had a good lead. Uh, he threw down to first base. Connor got back easily. Connor likes to steal. He's a quick kid. Pop fly. Is it? Right in the gap. Connor's rounding, going to third. Dylan, stand up double. Here's play at the plate. The throw is off. Head first slide. Connor scores. A double right into the gap. Left center. Beautiful hit right into the left center. One scored. One to zero. Our pitcher is up, number 15. Nathan Posenjack. We, when he comes up to bat, we say it's Nene time. Dylan has a good lead off second base. They're not worried about him. He's about 20 feet off the bag. Ball low. It's It, it was right there. Um, the pitcher is frustrated with that pitch call. And uh, I can see why. I think it was a strike myself. That one was low. If the, the the pitcher Cody's getting frustrated because the ump's not calling strikes for him, they're a little low. Some ump's call them low. Um, you gotta get over it and throw the ball a little higher. Oh, just about picked him off on second base. Just about. It was a beautiful move by Cody. To throw down to second base was perfect, and Dylan was able to just get underneath the glove safely. So Cody's a little frustrated right now. He's not getting his calls at the plate, and uh, he thought that they got him at second base. Um, it didn't look like it to me. It looked like he got in there, but it was a close play. Like I said, Dylan was leading off about 20, you know, probably a good 10 yards. Oh, we tried it again. Nothing. Back easily. All right. Here we go. Healthy lead off again. He's, second baseman comes over. Pitch is there outside and high. I think we're 0 and 3 right now. Oh, into the dirt go. Dylan steals down to third base and then we have a walk. We have runners on first and third. If I was Coopville's coach, I'd go out and talk to that kid a little bit. He needs a little break. He needs a little talking to. Cody calls his own timeout and calls his coach out, shaking his head. And uh, I can, there, those close, those pitches were close. But um, calls it how he sees it, and there's not. That's how it goes. As long as they're consistent. Number 20, Camden. 
third baseman's up to bat. He's our slugger on the team. He's hit at the base of the wall. Nobody's been able to hit a home run on this new field yet. Runners on first and third. One down. Our number four batter's up. Nathan Posenjack steals second base. A strike is called. And that strike was about where all the rest of those balls were. So at least he got that one called a strike. Oh, nice hit right out to the left field. Diving catch. He makes the catch. Oh, and he tags at third and runs in. Uh, he hesitated to turn the ball back in. It's two to zero. It was a good sacrifice fly out to left field. Uh, made a diving beautiful catch, but he went onto his stomach and couldn't get up fast enough to throw the ball home. So it scored us a run. Two down, runner on second. Levi Buchanan is up to bat. He's playing shortstop right now. Oh, tried to get him at second. Save. Pitcher has a great move to second base. And he's disagreeing with the ump again on that call. Levi Buchanan's up, two down, two to zero. Strike right down the middle. He missed on the swing. Hi. Nice hit up the middle. Right to the center fielder, makes the catch. Three down. <laughs> Runner stranded on second. We're able to score two, so it's 2 0. Top of the second. Wolverines hustle out into the field. Starting at an hour late, it's going to get dark out here and colder. We don't have any lights on this new field. This is our only our second home game on this new field. The scorekeeper's over there. This one's the best for the, this camera angle here is a little bit better for everybody. They can see the pitcher and catcher. Quite a few people here braving the cold. We're a baseball town here. Everybody comes out for these games. We always Strike one. Nine, 
John Vanna Zawula. Yeah, it's hard to read, isn't it? <laughs> you can't read it. Yeah, Vala Zina Huya. Swung at one outside. Yeah, Nathan's first start high school. It was right on the outside lip of the plate. That was a close pitch. One and two. Fly ball out into center field. Dylan Roberson's tracking it down. Caught. One down. Right at the warning track. Nice hit. Wind gave it a little bit of carry out there. Um, Dylan's pretty fast. He tracked her right down. One down. Daniel Olson, number one. Their first baseman's up to bat. ball and that's the same low ball that he's calling them balls both ways it looks like a strike to me but he's calling it a ball and he called it a ball against him and now us so that one was right down another fly ball into center this one might drop no Dylan Robertson cracked it right down this second catch in a row two down number six Cody Roberts is up this is the pitcher um, I think he just saw the same pitch he threw down low get called for a ball. So he should be happy with that. Let's see how he does batting. Oh, that was, that was another strike where it looked like a, it got called a ball. Uh, all of them are different. That one was in the dirt. 2 0. -oh. Two down, top of the second. <laughs> oh, yeah. Strike. Beautiful pitch. All right, down the middle. Two and one. Ooh. Again, everybody thought that was a strike. Called the ball. Three and one. Well, at least the ump is. Oh, that was a good strike and a swing and a miss. Full count. Full count. Battle of the pitchers right here. Who's going to win this one? Oh, just outside. Again, another pitch that looked like a strike. And uh, Nathan's frustrated now at the hump. But uh, he, he still up his, uh, calling it the same. He doesn't call those low balls at the knees. Ball one. I think this is their designated hitted, hitter, um, Peyton Chavez, Chavness. Checks him at first base. Easy back. Goes steal at second, uh, second baseman. Wasn't on the base. Yeah, the wind took the ball. One and one. Healthy lead at second base. Strike right on the inside. One and two for Peyton Shevness. Caveness. Oh, boy. 
Down third. The throw. The throw was off. Oh, did he get him? Oh, that's strike three. Three outs. Now we're heading to the bottom of the second. <laughs> Kept him on his toes. Second. Bottom of the second. Score is 2-0. Friday Harbor. I suggested this one. Oh, okay. Because it has memory. Oh, okay. So remember for everything. Yeah. You know, it's pretty cool because, like, when we start up, for example. Yeah, it's all ready to go. It's all ready. See, these are all down. But if you look, you'll see where the where they're marked. Right. And they're all. Yeah. Cool. So the only thing you have to do up here is the audio over here. You know. Right on. It's already. It's already cool about that zoom. Plus it's got six other memories in here. Actually it's got more than that, but it's got things you can set up each one of these six for. Oh cool. So the startup audio yeah. the guitar thing, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. sports sports music, you know, we start up with. Cody's yeah. up on the yeah. mound warming up. Cool. You're on the air. As soon as you go on the air you press that button. Perfect. And it plays out. Say sharp plays number out. three is the catcher. He's doing a good job behind the plate. Chris Gustin, number 17, will be leading us off. Hmm? Want some caller time? Can we help you out? Sure. John Volk is here. He's one of our commentators for most of the sports that we have here going on. A little breezy here at the fields. It's cold. <laughs> I should wear my pants. Yeah. <laughs> Chris Gustin starting us off. Freshman, first baseman. He has some good power when he gets hold of one. Yeah, he's working on that. Yeah. Hit a nice double last time we were here. Yeah. Oh, swings that one's coming he, back. He liked the first pitch. Strike one, foul ball. One and one. That was consistent. It's windy. Now I'm trying to get my I, hood over my. I was getting my. There we go. My mic behind this pole here to get out of the wind. Not as bad as LeConnor during football. Yeah. <laughs> it's cold up there, no stands. There's that low pitch that looks yep. like a strike that he's not calling. That one was inside though. The other ones have been outside. Yeah. That's definitely ball inside. four. Starts off the second inning with a walk to the first batter. Chris is on base. That's Max. Max. Max Fields, number 13, is up to bat. He's the right fielder, sophomore. Of course, has a pretty good lead out there. Yeah. High ball. Ball one. Here he goes. Steals down to second and in there. He's safe. in there. Yeah. Chris has a stolen base. He's sitting on second. No down. Max checking out the coach for the call. Steps in, he's ready. My phone got a call and shut off the picture. Oh, jeez. Oh, close. That was a close pickoff. He has a great move to second base. Yeah, he's, Chris, he, Chris he, wasn't ready for that. No. Got to watch that move. To, he's, he has a great move to second. There's a little gust. Right down the middle. 
That just reminds me of old Candlestick Park there. I thought it was going to blow them off the mound. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's windy. Second base turned around. Yeah, he's paying more attention now, though. Yeah, he got back easy on that one. Yeah, he's got a nice deceptive little turn there. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. It looks like the wind grabbed that one. A little pass ball there. Chris the third. It looked like the wind grabbed that one. <laughs> it kind of did. It kind of kind of just went right down to the dirt. Yeah, it looked like a crazy uh, curve ball that just went right down into the dirt, got past the catcher. Chris Sable down, make it down to third. Ooh, big cut. Swing and a miss. Big cut. Struck him out. That pitch was close enough though he had to swing. Oh, back. I thought AJ was going to be playing out there in right field instead of Max today. Uh -huh. Jackson Waldron's up to bat, our only left handed. That's, that's the easy one to spot. He's the only lefty on the team. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Strike one. He's got, his, he's got his long socks on again, at least. One down. Piece foul, of that one. Foul ball. 0 and 2. See that foul back and work three or four of the fence. Yeah, there's a couple in the last game too. They might have to add another another section up there. They or, ordered a net. Oh, a net. It just yeah, hasn't was, showed up yet. I was gonna say they had a couple in the last game. Ooh, that was a junk ball, boy. That thing had three different movements on it. It's like called eye candy. Yeah. That, that was, Inside, what are, what's the count, two and two? Um, pretty close to it. He didn't give us the fingers. No. Oh, that Ooh, was high. right into the middle. Right out of his hands. Might fall. Oh, beautiful play by the second yeah, baseman. Yeah, running yeah. catch over his head. Right off his hands, he can Our that number nine dink. batter flew out. And it was close to the infield, so there was no chance Chris could have scored from third. Top of our order, Satchel Peoples, number one, is up to bat. Playing second base, strike one. That's a nice pitch. He's a good pitcher. Yeah, that's a good pitch. I like that one. Yeah. Most, yeah. Pe most people are going to swing at that. That's a hard, hard to lay off that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, he's a good pitcher, there's no doubt. Piece of that one. 0 oh 2. Two down. Oh, yeah. Oh, that one off. Yeah. Staying alive. That ball was a little high. Right in the hole. Shortstop made yep. the play, couldn't make the throw. Made the first. Made the first. Chris scores from third base. That's three to zero. Two down. Number three, Connor. Haynes is up to bat. Satchel took a pretty big lead there. Yeah, he did. I think yeah. he's trying to get the catcher to throw down to first base. Yeah, I think base. he was too. He about made it third of the way. Yeah. Threw down Ch to first Chet base. Checked the back that time. Wasn't going to take yeah. that again. Yeah. There he goes. In without a throw. Yeah. Easy still down to second base. We're on two outs anyway, right? Two outs. Yeah. Don't throw that down there anyway. Yeah. Satchel's on second. Ooh. Ooh. That was a 
That was a nice pitch there. Yeah. Off speed one. Whew. Yeah. Curve. He's way in front of that one. Yeah. Strike three ends the inning. One run scored. 3 0, top of the third. Now we need someone to do their senior project for hand-operated scoreboard. I was talking to Brock about that this week, about getting some sign up there. And I was going to run an electrical out there. And We're not allowed to. Well, there's going to be a meeting. Unless, unless we, can, we can have a board that's uh, removable, oh, is portable. That it is? Portable yeah. board. Yeah. yeah. I know because the the conditional use permit for here that was like that was part of no scoreboards or no permanent scoreboard or some goofy thing like that yeah but it couldn't have lights and sound that's what it was yeah so i've been after my kids the last couple of years and every other kid i see for their senior project to do a hand operated scoreboard yeah you just put it back there on the fence and just do the old-fashioned way yeah if you pay attention to the game you can see what the umpire is calling that'd be kind of fun well, i think we should have a yeah, I'm tired of kids for us to go back there you know, just, well, well, even then, I mean, you can still watch the game from out there. I don't know what, why we couldn't have any lighted signs. What's the what's well, behind that? What's the thought behind I, I that? I think it was just the because the way the property was designated when they built the fields on it, that was part of the conditional use permit to build the project. And How do we change that? I don't know. I and mean, it's kind of a funny thing because if they hadn't built this, this was a school site. Right. So they would have had bells all day long and, and announcements yeah. and lights and parking yeah. lots and you know, all the stuff you'd normally see. Number three showing he's going to bunt and he Woo. gets a ball one. Ball the dirt. This is, uh, there's is the catcher, Sage Sharp, is up to bat. One and all. Thing go like this too. I don't know. I think we should go around and get petitioned. Everybody lives around here and say it's okay that we can put a sign up. Yeah, it'd be kind of nice. Yeah. Showing a bunt again. Strike oh, right, right down the middle. I don't know why he's holding his bat out there like that. Well, it makes it so much easier for people watching the game, too. I yeah. Mean, if they're not if you're not really paying attention. Well, and bleachers wouldn't be a bad idea. Well, either. bleachers are going to happen. I think not right now. <laughs> I think once, once we get a little down the road, I think they're, they're planned for bleachers, I think, right? I think we're at three and on one. On both sides, actually, I think. I saw the bleachers. They were in some boxes out yeah. here one day, but then they took them away. The COVID scared them away. Strike. Well, and I'm full gonna, count. Personally, you know, when we get to a normal season, it's not freezing out here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you go out there and sit on the grass. Yeah. Watch a game from the outfield. Yeah, next year. We'll have a good run at state next year with all these juniors that we have this year. Oh, strike three is called. Their Wolverines are throwing it around the horn. One down. Yeah, I was actually suggesting they built like a little picnic area behind the field there. Oh yeah, where the, where the trail runs in the backside. Yeah. Put like a like four little charcoal grills and some tables out there. Come yeah, here and there's. Some, I don't know. Come here and have a nice little spot. Watch some baseball. What's the score, David? It's three to zero. Top of the third, one down. Number 16 is up. Nick. Ball. Nick Guy, their right fielder, is up, up to bat. This would be the end of their lineup. Strike is called. Okay. <laughs> he's consistent, though. I like it so. He, he's calling it the same for both teams. That, that's that's all you can ask for as a coach. Yeah. He's consistent. You just got to figure out what what the zone is. Boy, did you see that ball? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nathan has some junk also. He can throw some curve balls. And I think he throws a ball that's not even named yet. <laughs> <laughs> it just kind of comes out that way. Yeah. 
Ooh, strike heat there. right down the middle, throwing around the horn again. Two strikeouts in a row. Nathan's on it. He's in the zone. Nathan's warmed up. This is uh, when he gets down to the third inning uh, and he's pitching like this, it's lights out. That's two strikeouts in a row. Their leadoff left-handed Hank Wolf is up to bat. This is their leadoff guy. He had a nice hit last time. And he has a nice hit Got this that time. one, too. And it drops Ran right. the gap. Down. Yeah. I'm right, good too. right center. Hit a double. He's a good batter. Easy double. Yeah. Stand up double. Oh, yeah. He got hold of that one. Wind carried it out there, too. Beautiful hit. Number 12, Xavier is up. Runner on second, two down. Top of three. Beautiful pitch, pop up, but it might be tricky be in the wind there. Oh, Dylan's got it. Yep, yeah, that's it. Runner left on second base, three down. Moving to the bottom of the third. Nathan's looking beautiful pitching. He's cruising now. Yeah, he's he's warmed up and he has the game jitters out behind him and yeah, actually, he's throwing. This is his first pitching too. Isn't this it? is his first start. Yeah. Well, did he pitch? In the I other think game? he's pitched. Maybe a couple innings. Yeah. First start though. I yeah. think I haven't seen him pitch this year. But I didn't. I didn't see him pitch at home. I didn't know if he pitched no, on the road. I don't know either. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah. LeConner. Bill Connor. Yeah. Or it might have been Coopville. Yeah. It's tough we don't because we can't go to those games. I thought, I thought Nathan was pitching the whole time. It was Satchel Peoples that was oh, the, pitching. Oh, that one game? Yeah, <laughs> I no. That first one. I thought yeah, it was I, Nathan. I, they oh. do have a similar, um, a similar delivery. Well, when they videoed that game out of Coopville, the camera was focused on the fence, so you couldn't see anything. Oh, it was all blurry. Oh, yeah. All you, could see, you couldn't see anything. You saw the fence really well. And then two girls, two teenage girls talking about uh, contacts and haircut <laughs> and when the game over. And, oh, my goodness. I really liked the uh, Mount Vernon Christian one. That guy was hilarious. That guy did very well. Yeah, I liked AD. his footage, too. Yeah, he did a good job. You know, you know, that's I kinda think he had um, a little gimbal mount for his phone. Oh, that's why I was so still all the time. Right, those I was little, wondering. Those little mounts. That's kind of what I was thinking would be good is just yeah. get in the dugout with the team and, uh, you know, that was good footage. Yeah. yeah. That, you know, that. Well, the AD for Our Mount Vernon and Christian did it. Well, you don't need one. Yeah. I've never needed one. Yeah. <laughs> well, with two set cameras, you don't catch the action. Yeah. You know, you don't catch the play at first or second. Well, it threw me off for a while there because like, I didn't realize they were playing in LeConner. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, this is LeConner. <laughs> if I could get this one up and stable, the problem is this one's battery needs to go away really oh. fast. So where are we at here? We're on uh, bottom of the third. Is that Dylan? Dylan Poe or Dylan. Rosen. Roberson. Up to bat, strike one. Dylan got hold of one last time up to bat. He hit a double. Did he? Yeah. Ooh, out in the dirt. This be a one and one. Quick turnaround for a lot of these guys too, right, in football. Yeah. That's just around the corner now. Yeah, and then basketball. I think, oh, pop, high, pop, that pop up. fly. Easy out. Shortstop's got it. Shortstop, yeah. Two down. Nathan Posenjack is up. And he's on a roll right now. I bet you he gets hold of one right here. Yeah. High above his head. A little bit high. Yeah, I'm excited about football season. It's going to be four games, two Boy. home, two away. Boy, I think it's just going to be a burn burn. Well, Jeffrey was saying that um, we're supposed to have five. Ooh. Ooh, just, Ooh. just foul. Six inches he foul. said they're gonna, He said we're going to play Lummy, too. Lummy? Yeah. They're, they're so, Lacan, Lacan, or Coopville, Coopville. I think Lo Lummy's pretty tough. And then we're playing Lummy. Yeah. That, that's what Jeffrey told me yesterday. I know so. they've been pretty tough in the past, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think the last time we beat them, they came here. 
And that time before we went up there and it was what, 60 something to 40 something? That was a weird game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little high. Yeah, I'm hoping the next, since the states were on phase three for the state, that the next games we'll be able to actually go broadcast. That'd be kind of nice. Yeah. So we'll see where that's at. Well, we we were told no, we couldn't go to the weight games. On this games. one, yeah. Well, so that was on the free f previous phase, right? So we're good to go to games? Well, now? I don't know. It's the WIA has got to make yeah. their decision because well, these I'm rules we're doing now are on the phase two, and he just moved the, he's moving mm, the state to phase three. That's a curveball. So theoretically, they might let us go or at least let us go do the broadcast. Well, I saw that there are some parents from Coopville that came here today. Yeah. Well, I mean, if they're if they're officially helping with the team, it's okay. Ooh, fly ball out into the left field. It's carrying. Though. Right field. It's carrying. That's in there. Oh, right at the base of the fence. Nice hit. Double. Nice hit. Nathan standing on second base. I told you he'd get a hit. Yeah. <laughs> well, I carried a long way. Oh, I mean, yeah, if the it wind caught it. If it wasn't windy, that thing would have been, yeah, a lot knocked down a lot sooner. Yeah. Camden's up to bat. Our third baseman, number 20. Our new arrival. Yeah, he was here last year. Was he? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Someone told me he was new for this year. No. I remember last year uh, he was here. Oh, we just didn't play baseball. That's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we started off the season and then it ended. Yeah, then it ended real quick. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. So this is actually his first games this year. Timeouts called. Got some schmutz in there. I don't know what's going on here. A little schmutz in his eye. Oh, the ump? Yeah. Nathan has a nice lead off down in the dirt outside. There's that move down to second base. Close, too. Look at that. Nathan got back. He Close, could, though. Yeah, if, it, the, if the throw was there, they would have had Yeah, it. if it had been right on target, he would have got him. The throw was up high. Ooh, right down there. Frozen. The yeah. That was, a, that was a hittable ball. Yeah, that was right there. there. That's where it, you want it. I think it was the way – when it comes off his hand, it didn't look like it was going to do that. Yeah. I think it kind of fooled him. Down the dirt. Nice stop by the catcher. Uh, Nathan beat down on third if it got past him. Let's see a hit. Ooh, hits Ooh. him. <laughs> hits him right on the elbow. <laughs> He trots down. He's giving an eye to the pitcher. Yeah, he didn't budge. He didn't <laughs> budge. No. He had an elbow pad on. Hit him right on the pad. Yeah. Let's see who's this? First and second runners. Levi Buchanan is up to bat. Two down, two on. Oh. Was outside, but he called it a strike. A little bit. Down Runs the down dirt. dirt. One and one. Outside, ball two. Working that count. We have one out or two? Two down. Two down. Bunt. Ooh, that's a risky move. Goes to third base. They got him out at third. Oh. That, must only oh. Been, that was only one out. <laughs> That must have been the second out. Yeah, it was the second one there. Rich Rich didn't like that, that no. call there. 
it was dribbling. I couldn't see if he got it in time or not. Nathan says he's safe. No, they called him out. Yeah. So there was only one down. Yeah. Now there's two now down. there's two down. That's kind of what I thought. They, they got the lead runner. I don't know why you're starting to swing a bunt if you had two. Chris Gustafson is up to bat. Two on, first and second. Oh. <laughs> oh. We went around on that. Yeah. That's why I called the strike. Yeah. Well, you saw it. It was, it was kind of an off-speed curve, you know, and that wind just, it just tailed it at the end. Right into the dirt. Right, I mean, right when it was getting here, the wind just picked right up. You could see it. Oh, and two. Oh, oh got, so we got the same one. Yeah, but his third strike, third strike drop. Yep, he's good. And then he throws the ball into the outfield. The catcher threw, trying to throw down to first base and scores a run. Bad throw from the catcher down to first base on that third strike drop. Um, runners safe. We have runners at first and third. Uh, it's now 4-0. Two outs. Two down. Look at this. Oh, Rich is gonna. Looks like we got a pinch hit, Mr. Rood. We got a, we got a pinch hitter in. My son, his first at bat Mr. this Rude. year. Mr. Yes. Let's see how he does. They get everybody back on the on the roster now. Yeah. Are still short people? I know we had a couple guys that were. Uh, I think hadn't played yet. Yeah. Cameron's back. Cameron's back. Yeah, I think everybody's back. This is AJ's first at bat. And uh, I went and watched practice yesterday, and he was just lining them. Ripping, down, ripping them up, huh? Right down third baseline. Watch, he'll hit it right down the third baseline. The third baseman's way off the way off the bag. Yeah. I'm calling it right now. This <laughs> ball's going to go ripping down third baseline. Oh, strike right down the middle. He likes to look at that first one. Let's go, kid. It's the wind, I think. Things vibrating. Yeah, I could see it. Ooh, strike. 0 oh, 2. Chris Chris went on down to second. So now we got runners at uh, second and third. Two outs. Let's go, kid. Come on, boy. Get one. Get one. We got time. The coach realized that this. AJ got in on oh. the lineup, I think is the deal. <laughs> oh. I, I guess I should text my wife and tell him AJ got in. <laughs> <laughs> she said it's too cold. If he's not playing, I'm not going to come watch. <laughs> it is a little chilly. Portable, a portable press box. Portable press box. This little little cord and it just inflates. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen those tents for the stand? Yeah, I've yeah. seen those, yeah. Yeah. Gosh, I don't know what the hell What's, is going does, on. Well, Rich has have to come over here and see what the discussion's about. I think we're trying to decide. I mean, we, maybe we did have three outs already. We're looking at the scorebook. They have AJ on the roster when they yeah it, the roster well he, I, I didn't see our uh, I didn't see it that he did but they got him on there yep they got it all figured out looks like yeah well I'm gonna uh, video him right now because I know he's gonna hit the ball <laughs> <laughs> well row two right row two two outs runners on second and third yeah is it is it hero time or what are we gonna do here. Let's go, kid. Ball, oh, good eye. Good, good eye, eye on that one. One and two. One and two. My favorite human being up to bat right now. <laughs> Hi. Two, two. Two, two. I had a kid. Watch it. This kid can throw a strike, and here it comes. Yeah, he's going to drop it right down in there. He'll throw that filthy ball that he throws. Yeah. Third baseline, here it comes. There it is, right oh. back at him, right up the gut. 
Ah, base hit. There's one. Base hit, scores. There. Plays at the plate. He's got, oh, oh. Safe. He's out. He's out. He touched the plate. I got it on video. Ten bucks. <laughs> Put in AJ! AJ, single up the middle, scores two. All right, Mr. Waldron's at bat. Changing pitchers now. Here it comes. So number six is coming out. Who they got warming up? I can't see the, oh, here he comes. Number one is going in. Here's the play. There's the hit, watch the play. <laughs> Base hit scores two. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> the video does not exist. <laughs> Delete that footage. Oh gosh. Yeah. So who's number one here? We got that roster. I don't know what to do with it. I'm freezing. <laughs> Burned it for warmth. Gosh. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Let's see it on the ground. So is it six zero now? Oh, that's correct. That was two runs there. Yeah, it's a six. Still have two outs. We got a runner on first. AJ's on first. Um, Jackson Waldron's going to be at the plate. Oh, here it is. For one. Daniel Olson. Our, was their first baseman. Now he's pitching. Change of pitchers. Through his warm ups. Here we go. This is bottom of three. Jackson? Yes. Jackson Waldron's up to bat. Jackson grew about 12 inches through the COVID no, period. Not grow that much. <laughs> He's a lot bigger than just, he was. Just seen, it's because you're so used to AJ being so tall. Oh. <laughs> AJ grew 12 inches. Jeez, AJ's 6'4. Strike one. All the, all the kids have. It's just harder to see. You don't see all the kids all the time. Yeah. It's just harder to see. Well, I was impressed by Jackson. Plumber came out to me in the store today. Old Jeffrey benched 225 yesterday. I'm Jesus like, really? <laughs> oh, bunt. Ooh, dropped in there. Oh, he that, watched it too long, though. Yeah. Yeah. He sat and watched it. And they make the play at first base. That's three down. Um, AJ scored two with a nice base hit. Um, it's beautiful to see my son up to bat the first time this year. So now he's going to go out to right field. Fourth inning, top of the fourth. Six nothing. Six nothing. Yeah. It's on. Uh, oh, you mean the stream? It's on uh, YouTube. No. Six nothing. We're in the top of the fourth. Do you go edit the end of that? Edit the end of that video. <laughs> <laughs> It was beautiful to see him hit a double. Isn't that or nice? Hit a yeah. single and score too. Especially you miss a couple games and they don't get to play right away. Yeah. 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 And his junior year. 
he struggled with uh, school with the COVID like a lot of kids. Yeah, a lot had. of kids did. Well, yeah, I think uh, I was talking to the principal and, uh, you know, usually we had 10% of the kids with us. I think we're up about 50% of yeah, the kids. Yeah, it was pretty high there for a while. Yeah. It was just hard schooling and, you know, sitting in your room on the computer trying to teach yourself. It's uh, not the ideal situation. All right, number five is up to bat. This is their third number three hitter, Scott Hilborn. Number five up to bat. We're early on that one. Fouled it off right behind him. Strike one. Low, one and one. <laughs> the bird's gonna circle out there and get hit by a ball. <laughs> was that Randy? Yeah, Johnson. Randy Johnson oh. tagged that bird that one time. He's, oh, nice You're base right hit right down the third. Third baseman makes Quick the throw. scoop, makes the throw. Nice play. Yeah, he's a great player. I've seen him in practice, and not very many balls get yeah, past him. Yeah, yeah, he's he's a good player. Makes the play. One down, one up, one down. Number nine. Number nine, John. And I'm not even going to try his last name. <laughs> Valenzuela. Something like that. High ball. Wow. Smoking heat. chunk of that one. Fouled it off right down the third baseline. How much can Jeffrey bench? 225. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I was like, holy cow. Oh, that oh. was a beautiful off-speed sinker ball. It was in slow motion and it just, that was a beautiful. Yeah, I'll drop right in there. No, watch. He'll throw some speed right down here. He's Show acting bunt. like he's going to bunt, pulls it back and hits it right, right up, up, the, right middle, up the middle, right over second base bag. Dylan scoops it up out in the outfield. Base hit. One on. Daniel Olson, number one. He's the new pitcher. New pitcher. Yep. Yeah, he's up to bat. One down. Goes for a steal, down to second. Oh, that was actually closer than I thought oh. it would be. Oh. Connor wanted it. <laughs> that good, was close. That good was, throw, Connor. That was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Looked like a really slow throw. Yeah. Looked like he had him. Yeah. I mean, Looked like he was out. But they called him safe. He's on second now. Down, down the third. Pitch goes behind him. Third base is stolen. Got to settle down here. Just throw some strikes. One down, runner on third. Daniel Olson, two and one. Or a strike at least. Ba hits it. Out to left field for a base hit. Scores one. 6-1. That's a good solid hit. Yeah, that's a good solid stroke. Line drive out into left field. Yeah, I think it would right been, field. Would have, would have gone anywhere on the field. It would have been a hit. Left field. Left field. Cody Roberts up to bat. Ball one. Almost looked kind of like a plan to do that if he was going to steal. Yeah. Looked like a throw out. Checks yeah, him at first base. Checks him at the base. 
Did he steal before he was on the bait? I don't remember. You know, to keep an eye on him. Strike. Foul ball. Runner on first. One on one. Yep. Gets hold of one right to the right, right to fielder. Him. AJ throws him out, Doubles catches him. him. Off. Nice job. Throws down to first base. Double play to AJ Rude. Beautiful. Nice play. Way to come into a ball game. Making plays. Beautiful. That's what you want to see. Fly ball into right field was caught by AJ, and the runner on first base split down to second and was able to throw back to first and get him out. And his mother just walked up. I hope she noticed that was happening. <laughs> it's hard to sell. <laughs> she doesn't look very excited. <laughs> She's blonde. <laughs> she doesn't look very excited, but it's cold out. So kind of kind of dulls the excitement a little bit. The score is 6-1. Six, 6-1. Six, one. Six one. We're in the bottom of four. Yeah. Yeah. Where's our picture? There he is. Same guy? Yeah, number one. That was beautiful. <laughs> yeah, those are well, went right to him, too. That, yeah. That doesn't hurt either when well, it comes right at Well, the base at runner should have held up on yeah, he first should've. base. Yeah. And not it was only one out. He should have. That's twice now on base running errors that they yeah. got. Some well, outs. one out, you got to – you can go down a little ways, but you still got to see what's going to happen. Yeah. I mean, that was a pretty solid hit at somebody. Chances are someone's going to catch him. Yeah. We're at the top of our lineup. Satchel Peoples, number one, is up to bat, our second baseman. Yeah. Whew. He, he can reach down and throw that ball pretty hard, though. Yeah. See if they get it in there for a strike. Here we go. S the start of the bottom of the fourth. Outside, ball one. Six to one. Yes, six to one. Woo. Ball two. High for ball two. Yeah. You should put that little app on your phone. You can put the pitcher balls and strikes in and stuff. Yeah. I used to have it on mine. I don't know where it went. Three now. Another high ball. Four pitch walk. Runner runs down to first base. Connor Haynes is up, our catcher. And uh, I was out at Stephanie O'Day's house, and John here is owner of Lemon Computers, and he went out and fixed up her computers for her. <laughs> I got to go back, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, she's not getting her cameras to register somehow. Yeah, they had a, she had some uh, water damage there, and it kind of. Yeah. There's a strike. Strike one. Um, yeah, water through the house. The whole ceiling came yeah. down. Crazy. Yeah, kind of. There's a little 12 volt adapter that runs our cameras. It kind of fried it a little bit. Oh. It's, it's only putting enough voltage out to run one camera instead of oh. four. Oh, 
I was wondering. There's ball, ball one. Oh, Satchel. He got tempted there, didn't he? Yeah, the catcher fumbled the ball a little bit. One and one. So if there's anybody out there that needs some computer work, Lemon, well, it's, it's Lemon all the, Computers it's is all the, the guy. All the guys watching though, listen to this. <laughs> no, I, there's a lot of people that stay at home here. <laughs> so we're 2-1 here. He's not running to Coopville if anybody <laughs> wants any work out there. <laughs> Ooh. There's a strike, so now we're 2-2, two, two, right? That was a ball on the outside, but he called it a strike. 2-2. Two and two. There's quite a few of those on this. Let's see what Satchel does here. Eyeballing. Ooh. Right back at us. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing there's a fence right here in front of me. 2 2. No outs. Oh, we're going to have a little meeting. Go over the signs. Something wasn't clear there. Yeah. We weren't on the same page. Yeah, I think they're worried about Satchel down there at first. I think that's exactly what it was. I think yeah. he wanted he wanted to throw something else because they didn't want to want to keep an eye on him over there. Yeah. Here we go, two and two. Let's see what Satchel does down there at first. He has a really small lead off. Ball. High and outside, full Took count. It. Went for it. He got it. Yeah. Steal. He stole. Oh. Well, that was it. I thought it was two. That's no, a full count. Yeah, go back. Go know. back, Connor. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> Come back, Connor. He's just, <laughs> I think he's cold. <laughs> well, he's, <laughs> the ump got confused there and thought he. Connor thought he had the, the walk, and we're actually to full count. I think the ump's cold. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's cold out here. I don't know what's going I'm, on. I'm probably moving more than he is. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Connor. Get a base hit. Let's go, kid. There's the walk. All right. Now he's we got runners on first and second, no outs. Dylan Roberson is up. Sign from coach. There we go. No outs. Bottom of the fourth. Six to one. Friday Harbor. Oh, oh got him. He's out. They got him. Tossed oh, him. nice. Yeah. Nice pick. That was a nice move. Yeah, they got him. He hesitated, yeah, he's, like he's going to go back to third. Yeah, or he's something. He's, li he's a little too far out there. And yeah. yep. one down, picked him off at second. One base runner on first. That was a good move. I like that one. Yeah. He, oh, oh come back for Connor. Tried to get it, Connor. Safe. Yeah, he got him. Yeah. No, it was it was a good move. I mean. I could see. I think Satchel was looking the other way too. I think that probably made it worse. Yeah, he, he has, was he was looking he, over at third. It looked like he jumped to third and then came back. Ball one. That was his first pitch, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah. Back down to third. Or, yep, down first. Hit him in the leg. Strike. Big cut. One and one. He wanted that one. Ooh. 
<laughs> a little, a little uh, there on that one. <laughs> yeah, it's up up around his chin, but he called it a strike, so that's what it is. One and two. Oh. Pass, there's a pass ball. Yeah. Going around down to second. Yeah, trots into second, rounds it, looking at third. Yeah, Connor needs to pay attention there on second base and yeah. not get picked off. Yeah, that kid <laughs> has a good move. <laughs> Big cut. Struck that's him it. out. That's it for Dylan. Two All down. Right, two down. Man on second, still six to one. Nathan Posen jacks up. And it's nay nay time. Hit it over there. Our catcher <laughs> is on second base right now, so he's getting a pinch runner brought in for him so he can start getting his gear on. Is that Cameron? Cameron Wilson. With the pinch running. He's he was right there with AJ with the grades. Yep. So he was able to get his grades up and he and he's back in action. Good to see Cameron out there. So we got Cameron Wilson on second base right now. Pinch running for Connor. I kind of almost Connor. expected to see him put Wiley out there. but Wiley's he's, fast. Well, he's, he's a freshman, though. He's, he had a little base running error in the first game, so or the second game. Ball one. Let's see if Cam can score. It's pretty quick. If that ball gets in the outfield, he should be able to. Nathan can get it out there. Let's see. Lovely gap there and left. Yeah. Strike. Ooh, he held off on that one. He was going to swing it first. Yeah, he likes those high ones too. I think he's changed his strategy. He waits for that first strike. <laughs> well, they're coming. They're creeping up on Cameron. Fly oh. ball out to right field, and it, it dropped. Drops in. Come on, Cameron. Throw down to the you're plate. It's off. You're Cameron scores. Nathan's they down. throw down to second. Nathan's safe, Nathan's second. safe at second with a double. There we go. Scored one. 7-1, Seven one, Freddie one, Harbor. Two outs. That's what we scored in our first game against them was seven. Yeah. Camden? Camden is up. Our thir third baseman, he made beautiful play last inning. We gotta start using full names here now. Camden and Cameron. Yeah. Can't, can't have two cams. No. Oh, oh got away from him. Pitcher Nathan's lost gone. it. P yeah, he's down to third. The ball was right to him. It just hit off his mitt and rolled out to the right, and uh, he's able to get down to third base. Uh oh, I hear cheering at the softball field. Ooh. Ooh. Jeez. That's way out of here. <laughs> High pop fly. <laughs> Way foul ball. Is that, um, are we 1-1 one, one or, or? Yeah. Yeah. Outside. Two and one. Two and one. much bounce on that ball. <laughs> yeah. He, he's not pushing it. No, I was. there's no way you're making that one. When they go 15 feet back to their base. 3-1. Walk. Walked him. All right. Levi Buchanan. Two out walks. We got runners in the corners. Two outs. 7 1. Friday Harbor.
ball one. Swing into that one. Pop it right up to the second baseman. Yeah. Easy swing. There we go. Three outs. That's it. We scored one. 7 1 Freddy Harbor. Heading to the top of the fifth. Yep. Yes. Nathan's gonna go out again for another inning. Yeah. Hot diggity. I think his pitch count's pretty low. Seven to one. We're the scoreboard. It's seven to one. <laughs> hey Mike. <laughs> Good thing we had that time change too. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> it was it was close in that shortened game because we had that. Uh, you know, they shortened the game because we had what twenty whatever runs in that one game. But it was just starting to get dark when they went to the sixth inning. Did you see AJ? That camera down there. It says, it says something on the screen. Like, huh? Sorry? Did you see AJ? You have a, you have a message on your exactly. camera down there. She said. No, you you were here when we did it. Says it says like low battery. Or that's that one. It does say a little battery. And then he had a, a base hit score too. It's super cold out here. <laughs> which, which camera are you looking at? The one down on the bench down there? That one? Yeah, yeah okay, cool. thanks. All right. All right. Well, here we go. Number seven to the bat. This Nathan. is their DH, Peyton. Nathan Poden Zach still pitching. I don't think we had any player changes. So Caveness, Peyton Caveness. Same, same Friday Harbor players out there. Ooh, strike one, swung and fouled Tip, it. Tipped it off Connor. <laughs> he didn't look very happy about that. <laughs> Those catchers, they always have a lot of bruises. The good ones anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Curveball. Nasty pitch. Right There's down strike. the middle. One, two. All right, back to him. Second baseman play. Got him. E easy nice play. play. Nice play. Yeah. Beautiful fielding. Solid defense. Is that Levi? Levi Buchanan. Yep. He is for sure surely handed. He's he's one of the best. This is number three. He doesn't miss much. It's our catcher, isn't it? Oh, right up the gut. Right to Levi. Right. Same play. Makes the throw. There you go. Two, more. Two down in a hurry. Two down. Yeah, number 16 coming up. Nick Gay. Guy. Nick Guy. Ooh. A little low. Kind of tied Connor up, too. He kind of yeah. had to turn his hand over to catch that. Yeah. Woo. Strike one, one and one. Ooh. 
way in front of that one. Boy, that was a wild looking pitch. Yeah, and he was really in front of it too. It made it look weirder. Yeah. Two strikes? Yes, one and two. Down low. the heat there. Two and two. And he's going to be struck out right at this point. Boom, there it is. There you go. There it is. Third out. So we're now to the bottom of the. I've coached that kid for six, seven years now. So yeah. I just know how he pitches. Yeah, <laughs> where, where it's coming from. Yeah. Where are we no bottom, run bottom, scored. Bottom of five now? Seven yes. one? Yeah. All right, still have number one on the mound for Coopville. Daniel Olson. I've been, really, I've been trying to check the outfield and the infield. I don't think they've subbed any players, really. No. It's about the same. Yeah. It's hard to tell when you don't know them. And we, yeah. don't actually, we don't actually have a roster here, so no. just the, the copy of the batting order, or the <laughs> batting orders. Yeah. Chris Cuffston's going to lead us off here. Chris is a great athlete. He's a freshman. I really like to see him stand a little taller when he bats. Yeah. He's got a real thing where he, he kind of almost like he hamstrings his hips the way he does his knees. Yeah. You know? Well, I'm looking forward to seeing him play some football this year on the high school team. Yes. He's playing left tackle, I believe. Wow. Left guard, left tackle. Right tackle. Ball one. Strike one. Swung at it. Yeah, it'll be interesting. You know, we had a little transition in our football team. We lost, lost some linemen there in the graduating class and had to do a little bit of juggling. I think they kind of got it pretty much figured out what they want to do. There's another strike. Oh well, we lost some meat, but we still have probably one of the top two running backs in the state, I would say. Well, and that's the, the position I think we're really set at. You know, we've got Ooh, that was a nice four or five kids push. that can run the ball. In that Struck team. him out. One down. A.J. Rood, number nice. six, is nice. up to bat. Je Jeffrey's transitioned from running back to uh, – Right guard. Well, they <laughs> might be able to come up with some play because he's still fast. <laughs> Let's go, kid. Ball. Ball one. I guess there's a big strike zone on him, too. He's so tall. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I had some. My dad had some uncles that were 6'4". That's how he got up there. Another. The ball. Another. Another high ball. Ooh, that's the dirt. Ball three. Oh and three. Huh. He, he's not swinging on this three, one. Three and zero. Oh. Yeah, three and zero. Oh. <laughs> There's four. four. Four ball, four, four pitch walk. And we got Jackson Walter. Be our, patient. Our lefty. He popped out last time, didn't he? Yeah. AJ gave a little tease there like he was going to go. Yeah, he had a nice lead off. Yeah. He made the catcher think. Well, we got we got to throw it on the second again through a, 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 a left-handed batter. Easy lead so. back. He threw down to first base. AJ had a good lead on him, but with those ding long legs of his, it's only a one-step back. 
<laughs> they used to call him the giraffe. Ball. Six balls in a row. Yeah. It's, 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 he's, he can't find the zone right now. He should not worry about the runner. Yeah, he's just got to throw some strikes here. Like it gets really in trouble. That looked, that looked like a strike. That was a yeah. good one there. 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two and one. We need to score some more runs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, he didn't really have to go back. Oh, well. Ooh, watch that one all the way in. Two and two. Got that second strike. Let's go, Jackson. I'll protect here if it's not good. There he is, protecting. Yeah. That would have been the third strike. Yeah, it was pretty close. Yeah. Been called a strike already. Yeah, yeah. Well, he likes to looking at that runner on first. Ooh. I think the wind kind of took a sail out of that one. It just dropped. Well, that's because the wind's blowing right out of the ball. I think on a it just dropped. I want to say if it was windy, it, it looked like it was coming across the plate. Yeah, and then just it was going to be a strike. And hit the plate. Full count. Base hit Ooh. down to second base. Ooh, he, bobbles he bobbled it. it. Got the, no, oh, bobbled it again. Bobbled it twice. Got lucky. Base hit. Runners on first and second. I have to score that an error myself. Yes, that was an error. Yeah. <laughs> and they had two bobbles in a row. You can't bobble twice in a row. No. Satchel Peoples is up to bat. Our leadoff. Let's see what he can do. First two guys got on base. That's a beautiful pitch. Well, it is. As long as we, when he throws it when there's no wind, it, it just tails in there perfectly. But when it, when the wind gusts, that's when it, it starts dropping too early. Yeah. Watch him. He's watch him. He's gonna throw. There you go. There it is. Base hit out into right field. AJ Roots coming around third base, yep. and is safe. Easy. Yeah. Jackson, Jackson to third. So we got runners on the corner, so we're up to 8-1. 8-1, Freddie Harbor. We still have no outs, right? Runners no on, outs. Runners on the corners. Yes. And uh, we got come up here, Connor. Connor Haynes. Jackson Waldron down on third base. Satchel Peoples on first. Strike, Strike one. Connor didn't like that call. But he's, he's, it's been a strike, though. And, no, he's, it, and he's been catching the whole game. It, it, it was a strike. <laughs> anyway, he's been catching the whole game. You know he's just swinging that thing. Jeez. <laughs> the, well, that one was close. Well, there goes Satchel down to second. Runners on second and third. No outs. Oh, oh into the dirt. Satchel. Here, no, here comes Jackson. He's in. Jackson scores. Satchel down to third. Nine. That was, I would score that a wild pitch on a pass ball. Yeah. So it's that little Kirby throws. And it, 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 wind the wind gusted up. It. Right then it just dove right before the plate. Bounced off the edge of the plate and went flying. Foul ball. He's leaning really hard into that. Get yeah. that bunt. Should have held off. It was a ball. Yeah. <laughs> It looked like a drag bunch. Yeah. 
So we got one and two on Connor? Yeah. There's a ball. Two two. two, two. Walked him. Oh, yeah, that Didn't he just say two and two? It must have been three and two. I couldn't see his left hand very well. It must have been. I saw it. Are we doing that again? Giving a good call Connor back to the. <laughs> he had it two and two. That I should be full count. I thought so too. But huh. I'm well, surprised they're not running for Connor. Here, but. Dylan's up to bat. No outs. Ball one. Runners on the corners. We're still 8 1, right? 8 1. Yeah. Is it 8? Yeah. Make sure. I'm trying to remember where I'm at in this. Coach is coming out to the mound. Got to do, start doing a scorecard here so we can keep track. Yeah. <laughs> well, to be honest, I think if you would just stick to his fastballs, you know, with the way the weather is, yeah. it might do a little better for him. Yeah. So that curveball, just when the wind gusts, it just it goes crazy. <laughs> it just goes all over the place. Yeah, you can't yep. control it. Do that to Nathan too on the one he threw. Yeah. Well, he keeps him out there. Just a little pep talk for him. Worry about the batter. Where are we at? Is it though? Dylan. He's got some pitches on him, doesn't he? I can't remember. I think he has a ball. Yeah, I think he's got a ball, too. Runner steals Connor. second. Connor goes to second. Second and third runners. No outs. Bottom of the fifth. 8-1. Friday Harbor. Ooh, fell it off himself. Did we miss a run? I think it might be nine. I'm thinking uh, yeah, about that too. I, I think it is nine. AJ scored and then right behind yeah, AJ and then Jackson. was Jackson. Yeah, so it yeah, is nine. You're it right. is nine zero. That's us. Nine to one. <laughs> we we gotta make us. Yeah. We gotta do a score sheet for ourselves here. Yeah. Ooh, that's close. That's that one that's right on the edge of being a strike every time. Yeah. Yeah. So we must have three one on Dylan then. Yeah, I think so. Walked him. Walked him. Base is loaded. Nathan Posenjack is up. The Posey. It's Nay Nay time. <laughs> <laughs> that goes back to Little League. All right. Hacking away. Oh, off, right off, off the, the third baseman. Ball's rolling to the fence down the third baseline. One scored. There's two. Two scored. And we're in at three. Stand so up double for Nathan Posen, Jack. That takes us. Scored two. Ten. Ten to one. Eleven. Eleven? Nine, ten, Inside eleven. Nine? Yeah, you're right, you're right, eleven. Eleven to one. Got to do my math here. Well, it was close play, too, right off his glove. Yeah, the third baseman had a, a play on it. He could have doubled up right there. But it just went off his mitt. Oh, we're going to change up here. It's our second visit. Uh-oh. Well, was that Ooh. it? Yeah. I don't know what happened there. The pitcher, they changed pitchers, and, oh, we 10 run them. Game over. Oh, you're right. It is. It is yeah. 10, and we're in the, we're in the fifth. fifth. We're in the we're fifth, in the fifth inning. inning. Yep, that's and it. we just 10 run them. You are correct, sir. The game is over. That is it. Ten run. 
Well, there we go. That was easy. Yep, game over. Thanks for everybody listening. <laughs> John and Dave, thank you much. Okay, folks, and we are out of here. What's the final score, Dave? 11 to 1. 11 to 1, final score, Friday Harbor, 11 to 1. <laughs>